Welcome to another adult only art video. Only the highest quality art supplies will be used. Easy peasy painting with your frozen friends. <gasps> Includes eight paints and a brush. Prepare yourself for an artistic journey in this $5 Disney Frozen paint by numbers coloring book. <coughs> <coughs> I just ruined the nice relaxing vibe, didn't I? That's what happens when you're sick. I'm gonna try my best to get through this video. I am sick, so my voice is a bit off. I've been struggling a bit this week. That's why I'm late uploading this video. But regardless, I'll be transforming this paint by numbers Disney Frozen art book into different horror artworks. If you enjoy horror art videos like this one, you should do some self-reflection, figure out what's going on with that, it's a bit weird. But also, you should subscribe. I upload new drawing videos like this every single week, and that way you won't miss out. I'm just kidding. It's completely normal to enjoy horror drawing videos like this. At least that's what I tell myself. I'm the one doing it, so if you think it's weird watching it, it's probably even weirder me drawing in these colouring books. That is strange, I know. Anyway, getting back on track, I did a nice colourful test run before getting into the horror artworks coming up. I like to show a comparison of the kind of art that is intended in these art books and the type of art that I end up drawing in these art books. I think it's about time we start modifying some of these pages. I always thought Olaf had such a nice smile. After adding some extra details and line work, it's time to get the paintbrush back out, dip it in some water, and start adding some nice colour. With the first artwork successfully transformed, it's time to move on to something a little bit different. When I came across this page of Anna wielding a sword, I immediately thought it'd be cool to get some inspiration from the manga and anime Berserk. I thought it's just such a funny crossover with Frozen and Berserk. If you know the manga or the anime at all, it is absolutely brutal and I thought it'd be a really fun crossover. Plus, the manga art style is amazing, and I thought it'd be fun to somewhat replicate in this artwork. R.I.P. to the creator and absolute master of his craft, Kentaro Miura, who created Berserk. Check out his artwork, it's seriously amazing.
with the cross hatching and line work done, I couldn't resist, it was time to add the blood. And for this one, it was absolutely fitting, as Berserk is insanely gory and graphic. I love it. So there will be no apologies for copious amounts of blood in this drawing. I just have to add, it feels really bizarre using this little colouring tray of pretty watercolour paints and a flimsy paintbrush to paint gore and blood splutters. It just feels wrong, but it feels right at the same time. Yeah, I'm a weirdo. Next up, I think I need to draw some opposition for Anna and her massive sword. So, sorry Elsa, but you're getting a bloodthirsty transformation of the zombie variety. It's not going to be flattering. Now that it's time to add some colour to this artwork, I have to say the quality of the paper and paints in this particular book is rather poor. I'm still trying to make it look cool working with what I've got, but I definitely am struggling. And I mean, that's to be expected. It's a $5 book around there and it comes with paints, a paintbrush and colouring pages. Of course it's not going to be great, but out of all the colouring books I've done so far on the channel, it feels weird, like am I some type of colouring connoisseur now? Strange flex, but okay. This one is probably the worst, I would have to say. I really struggled. Hopefully it doesn't show in these artworks, but it was tough. For this next one, I felt like painting something happy. At least to begin with. Stick around till later and see what happens. Yep, the happiness didn't last so long. Let's make things creepy again. Can you guess the inspiration for this one? I couldn't help myself and decided to throw in a Poppy Playtime reference. Olaf is just the best character for transforming into different horror monsters. I could definitely make a whole video dedicated to the poor snowman getting transformed into different horror abominations. Maybe that'll happen in the future. Subscribe to find out.
And that, my friends, is the final drawing of the video. I saved a detailed one till the end. I struggled with this video quite a lot, but hopefully you still enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching, and a massive thank you to all of my amazing patrons for supporting my channel. I appreciate all of you, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you then. Bye.